Hey y'all, it's Latrice with Purposefully Living. Listen, I have a little get fit moment. I used to do this back and I know it's not Fit Friday, but I want to share this with you. Uh, you know this weekend is very important to me, so I am already preparing uh, my good Friday encouragement. But today is about, it's just a quick get fit moment, getting focused, intentional, and tenacious. Focus, concentrate on God's word, intentionally elevating it, allowing it renew our mind, walking by faith, right? Intention is just action and tenacious. We're not going to stop. We will not quit. So listen, here's my get fit moment. Flexibility. Flexibility is key. All right. So I want to just share with you practical, um, just I, if I could say a practical strategy. Um, I kind of had this moment where the Lord was just showing me something that happened simply on yesterday. And so I guess I want to entitle this flexibility, but I also kind of want to say, I don't know, we'll see what the title is, but at the end of the day, I want to say this on the other side of obedience. Okay. On the other side of obedience. So yesterday was very busy and my life feels very busy. I'm sure just like yours. Um, and so I remember just kind of writing out, I'm all about efficiency. And so I have a list because I run businesses, right? So one of the things that I do, I had a list that says uh, money-making activities. And then I have one that says uh, administrative, I guess you would call. And so in other words, these things need to get done. But, you know, I want to make sure it's so easy to get caught up in all the other things. And then you didn't get something, you know, so I try to do one or two things. That's a little tip for you. So anyway, I was doing this and I had a meeting, but I am in a season of, well, I ain't a season. This is my lifestyle of really focusing on the voice of God, not just what he's saying, what he said, but what is he saying right now? Okay. Not just what he told you, but what is he telling you right now? And so with that said, yesterday, I kind of had my schedule and I had it in my calendar, but I like to say, I like to flow with God. And so that would be my number one. Okay. Flow with God. And when you think about flowing with God, Faith is required. You have to listen. You must obey and then watch him work. Did you catch that? Yeah, it's an acronym. Don't y'all be trying to take my stuff. Okay, let me say it again. Faith is required. Listen, obey what you heard, watch him work. So when you think about flowing, it's, it's not being rigid. It's not being, you know, structured. And if I be honest, anyone that knows me knows I love structure. And so God for a while has just pretty much like, you know, stripped me of all of that. And I, I have it in context, but he's really teaching me to just follow, to just flow with them. Right. And so yesterday when I had my list of things and I was going through, I remember I had this meeting up coming up. And to be very honest with you, I didn't feel prepared. I didn't feel prepared. I still had on my workout clothes. It's noon. Uh, the kids are on spring break this week, but it was just so many things and I was getting things done. But again, that guilt, like looking at this list and da, 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 da. But it was like, the Lord was like, you're moving at the pace I told you to go. And so I remember it was getting close to the meeting. I didn't feel like I had prepared. And I, I'm big about being over prepared uh, because, you know, that structure and I prepare to prepare. So, but it was like, the love was like, no. Nope. So I remember I was about 15 minutes out and I just simply heard, do this. You already have this. And I thought, hmm, I don't remember that. So I did, went, look, Holy Spirit was right. And then I did the other thing he asked, got on the meeting, made that long story short, I got blessed beyond what I can even express right now. Favor is not fair, okay? But I experienced total favor. And I remember recognizing, recognizing the favor because so many times we pray prayers, but I don't even know that we're expecting the prayer to be manifested. You know, we go, but when there's a... a expectation is so important 
And I love one of the sayings I say, expectation is breeding grounds for miracles. When we pray, we believe what we pray. He hears us that when we seek him, we're going to find him. When we knock, he is going to open up the door that when we call, he will answer. Right. And even when it's a no, he's answering. When he's silent, he's answering. When we hear his voice, he's answering. OK, so I'm flowing. And so I remember like running up to the store i was working on something else and then i heard the lord say when you come back home ask the kids if they want to go to the park now in my mind i'm like this is my time they're on spring break i got three more hours to crank out work but it was like the lord was saying no don't do that ask them if they want to go to the park so i was like ah oh. So I said, you know, I came back. Hey, y'all want to go to the park? They said, yeah, you know, so I take them up to the park. They so excited. And it was like, you just sit in the car. You sit in the car, debrief, you know, and I just sat in the car and began to thank God. I was like, Lord, the favor that you showed me on that call. So we leave from the park. They're all excited. I take them back home and then I start back working. Well, I probably was working about two or three hours and then I heard, okay, shut it down. I want you to, you know, Bible study. And if I be honest, because I have a deadline for something today, I was like, okay, I, I'm not going to be able to go to Bible study, but I'm going to go to Good Friday service. And the Lord said, mm -mm, no, that's not what I said. You're going to shut that down. You're going to go to Bible study. And when you come back, um, and all of this is kind of happening real time. I'm giving it to you in steps, but it was coming in the moments, if I could say it that way. So I remember just being obedient, like, got it, you know, doing it. And so when I got home, I, I'm sorry, on my way back, it was like, now you need to work out. You didn't work out. And I was like, I'll do it tomorrow. I was like, nope. We can do 30 minutes, just 30 minutes or something. So I was like, okay. And I'm not a big night workout person. I'm definitely early morning. Y'all know that. But I went in. We have a gym. I went in, ran, did some intervals, running, and then a quick little 15-minute work routine. I felt so good. So I go back home. I'm feeling great. I'm like, yes. You know, I look. It's like 9.30 p.m. And I was like, well, I could do about an hour work. And the Lord said, no, I want you present. I want you present stay with me now i know you like girl why are you telling me all day how is this supposed to bless me just stay with me so i was like okay and he said i want you to go home you're gonna play uno with the kids and then watch a movie and i'm like like i really want to finish i got a deadline <laughs> you know but i'm flowing faith is required listen obey what you hear watch god work so i did just that they were so excited. They was like, mommy, okay, yeah. So we played the rounds of Uno and we watched a movie. At this point, it's about 11 o'clock. I'm tired, you know, so 1045. So I go to bed. And y'all, when I woke up this morning, it's like the Lord, I heard, it's like in my spirit passed. And I was like, what a, what a passed. And the Lord began to show me how important flexibility is now let me go back i had to give you that scenario a lot of times and i'm gonna talk fitness for a minute natural then spiritual a lot of times in fitness myself included especially when you're lifting weights you don't want to stretch i mean we stretch you know you're supposed to stretch before a workout but you really don't want to stretch so, you know, you like do your arm one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, do you like one, two, three, four, five? You ain't really stretch, you know, for the stretching that you're supposed to do, holding it, 30 second count, you know, really each body group. We don't do that. Be like, all right, you know, done, right? But the reality is that stretching gives flexibility, right? Your flexibleness prepares you for where you're going. So, let's say if you want to, grow muscle right you want to stretch you know because as you're lifting heavier or doing more reps or whatever your goal is you need that flexibility and that flexibility allows the next workout to get better because if you don't stretch what end up getting your muscles are tight you start cramping you know and then you you you're almost like your rotation is stuck so you're not going to get the best workout so the goal is flexibility 
right? How do we get there? The process is stretching. Hear me in a natural. Okay, the goal is flexibility. Because that flexibility is going to allow you to be able to lift heavier or, you know, do some things, build your body, whatever, right? But the process is stretching. The more stretching you do, the more flexible. Now, in the spirit, the Lord was beginning to show me, you know, sometimes we're praying for these places in God. Lord, um, I want to hear your voice or Lord, I want to know more. I want to, I want to study your word or I'm just saying, maybe somebody is, I, I want this place. I want to scale my business. I want to do this. God is faithful. His word we can bank in. I mean, the promises of the Lord can be trusted. It, another scripture in Psalms 91 says, the promises of the Lord are armor and protection. But the reality is we have to know that God is a God of process. Because like a good parent, he's not just about the end result he also wants to make sure that what he's going to give us is a blessing to us, that we're ready for it. And so it's not a question of, are we going to get it? But there is an appointed time and there is a process that goes along with it. And a lot of times what I have found is that stretching. He's whether he, and when you think about it, I've talked about this stretching a lot, but even when you think about a rubber band, if you think about those rubber bands that they use like legal for legal files, you really never know the capacity of a rubber band because the more things that you put it under, it takes that shape. But then there will be a day that let's say you try to do like five big files, it pops. But you may look at that little rubber band and look at that file and say, but you don't know the stretch capability, the capacity of it. And so the more things it actually stretches it out and then now it can hold that, right? Hear me in the spirit. That's a lot of times what God does. He knows our capacity, but we have to be willing to be flexible. We have to stretch so that we can be flexible so that we can flow because ultimately that's where it was. And y'all, when the Lord began to download, I hope this all makes sense. When he began to download that, I smiled because he said, you're, you're really getting fit. And y'all know how passionate get fit is that me, this is something God gave me like fifth, almost what nine years back in corporate. I, I remember exactly where I was when he began to give it to me, getting focused, intentional and tenacious. He said, this is, this is what it looks like, right? Because it's ultimately an inside out process. And we all want these external bodies that look good, that does a lot of things well. We want to, you know, whatever the goal is, but we forget that there's internal work. What you see on the outside is because of what's going on the inside. You're not picking up weight just because you just eat bad, but why, what's the root to the chips? What's the root to Jerome Brown's? What's the root to the sugar? What's the root to the stress eating, right? And that was something that I really had to learn because, you know, I've shared my testimony, how unhealthy eating habits and my, my husband really had to have like an intervention come to Jesus moment to say, you are so close to being diabetic because that's how much sugar I used to ingest out of stress and just bad habits that I were that I was not willing to be disciplined. But we have to be willing to flow with God. And when he showed me yesterday on the other side of obedience, what I recognized was you know, in previous seasons, and I don't know about you speaking specifically to my moms and, you know, those that are in your career, entrepreneurs, sometimes it's really hard to do all the things, right? But the reality is God didn't call us to do all the things. What he wants is us to flow with him. What he wants us is to walk at the pace of grace, but we must walk by faith. We must, faith is required. We have to listen be intentional about creating atmospheres to hear his voice, whether that's through worship, whether that's just riding in the car to silence, whether that's just saying good morning to the Holy Spirit and saying, I'm going to take this journey with you. Not going to put on the morning podcast. I just want to hear you. And then whatever you hear, being willing to obey. And what the Lord showed me that was so sweet to me, because if I be very honest, I'm driven. 
I'm, I'm definitely, I, I'm a go-getter. And in other seasons, I didn't realize that I was so driven off as, uh, after success, my priorities were out of order. And so, you know, thank God I have a wonderful husband. He's so supportive. But that also became a little bit of a crunch, if I be honest, because I knew he would have dinner or I knew he would. And the Lord said, no, 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 you take your hips home and take care of the house. I'm glad you that got a degree and thank you all things and knowledgeable, but let's, let's come on and you go and do the homework. And I remember in my mind thinking, if I be very honest with you, but I'm doing this for them. I'm, I'm working hard and achieving so that they don't. And the Lord said, I didn't say they ain't need to do. Cause see, sometimes we feel like, Oh, I'm doing this so that my children never have to do it. And he said, that's the problem. That didn't break you and it's not going to break them. Now, he will show us how to do things in a different way because when you know better, you do better. But the Lord says some things that you're trying to remove from them, I didn't tell you to remove from them. And so what you're doing is developing a spoiled brat who's entitled with no work ethic. Y'all hear me? And so I said, huh. And so the Lord said, consult me in all things, even in your parenting. And so y'all, my get fit moment to you is what I just said on the other side of obedience. I didn't recognize it in the moment, but God began to show me how I was just flowing with him because the old me would have canceled that meeting because I could have, because I didn't prepare. But the Lord was like, I perfect the things that concern you. It's not about your perfectionism. Take the meeting. You've done enough. And I'm going to show you what favor looks like. That's number one. But then he showed me how to be present as a mom, how to be present as a wife, because I always want to make sure that my job is not leading, but that God is leading. It's God first, goal second. Get fit, focused, intentional, and tenacious. And when we bring God in to every aspect of our life, he knows how to navigate us day by day, hour by hour, second by second on the best place, the best pathway for our life. But we have to be willing to acknowledge him first. And as I did that yesterday, I said, Lord, and he was like, you passed because you flowed with me. I didn't ask questions. I, I wanted, did I, I didn't get all the modules that I wanted to get done yesterday, but God was like, you did what I wanted you to do. Not only did you work on the business, you did check off some boxes, but you was there for your, your children, your husband. And so I want to encourage someone who's maybe in a unchartered season you know, maybe you are a mother or a single mother, um, married, you know, and it just feels like I get you. But can I just encourage you that it's all about flexibility? And a lot of times the thing that will get us to flexibility, we don't want. No one likes stretching. I remember the days that I had trainer. I love my trainer. Uh, and as soon as I, I'd be so pumped, because y'all know how I am. I love the weights and I love running. And so I'm ready. I, you know, I'm like, I, I'm definitely that client that is different. And they would say, stretch for, um, you know, they give me all the stretches that come up to about almost 10 minutes. And that, I'm like, that's the devil. Don't know if I need to stretch that much. And then they say, go do 100 abs. And I'm like, you're kidding me. Like when we get into the workout, they're like, oh, you are. <laughs> this is the workout. And I'm like stretching for 10 minutes. I don't need to stretch that. And they're like, oh, yes, you do. You're preparing your body. And then you're going to do the abs because your core matters more than anything. I know you want sculpted arms and you want the legs and you want the weight off. But it's the core that's tied to all of that. Hear me in the spirit. I want to encourage you flexibility, which means... On the other side of obedience, when you are flexible in the spirit, when you are willing to move by faith, walk by faith, listen and obey, watch God work. You will see the favor of God, the peace of God. You will experience the grace of God, unconditional love, all so much more. Canaan is on the other side of obedience, but the route to Canaan is flexibility, flexible in the spirit, 
flexible, even practically just being flexible. So that's my little get fit moment. I pray it encouraging. I know you all haven't heard from me. I haven't been on the podcast. Y'all know this is the season of me uh, doing a little bit of the mama, mom, what is it? Mama preneur, mama preneur. I don't know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, but basically being over these kids who also are great and got purpose in Christ. So please, 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 if you are a grandmother, if you are a mother, uh, if you know someone with some children, send them Langston's podcast. I believe it'll bless you. he be blessing me. Y'all, sometimes when I'm reading, he always gives me the last, the final. He types it out. So he'll give me the final to read, you know, because we cover him. We want to make sure, um, you know, his theology He's still learning. Everything, like we said, is from a kid's perspective, right? Uh, the word of God. But I cannot tell you how every time he blesses me, you know, because I don't give him the topics. God, you know, he prays about what he wants to speak and the Lord gives him topics and it blesses me. So I say that to say download the Created for Crisis podcast, Langston Bartley. It's on uh, Amazon Music. You can listen to it. You can listen to it on Anchor. I believe he's on Apple now. So download it and support him. But you will get these get fit moments. So signing off, listen, stay focused, stay intentional, stay tenacious, stay fit. Love y'all. Bye.